Hey guys, uh, so we're gonna keep going with updates. Uh, it's actually wave two, but wave two has sort of been extended into 2021. It's 2020 wave two, but it's being released in January um, and even February I'm seeing 2021. But anyways, we're just following as they're getting released. So one thing that just came recently in is uh, the auto generation of account schedules. So we have, um, we have account uh, categories, uh, which I think I covered in one of the videos. Basically, you can categorize your GL accounts by like asset, liability, and within assets, it could be cash and you know, uh, fixed assets and stuff like that. So it creates these blocks of uh, categories. And from the account uh, categories, you can actually generate accounts schedules. Um, so those are automatically generated and they, they are actually in the system. If you go into the demo system, they all start with M dash something. And if you go into them and you try to modify them or, or play with them, the system goes, hey, this is auto-generated. If you, if you modify this account schedule, it's gonna get overwritten next time it's updated. So that's a bit annoying. Um, so they did an improvement on this. When you actually go into uh, account categories and you go into generate account schedules, I think that function didn't even exist before. Now it exists. It'll ask you, do you want to override uh, these account schedules? And if you say no, it creates copies. So if you say no, it creates copies of the account schedules. Um, and, and that's pretty nice. So you can actually use them because they are nicely generated. It's a good template to start out with uh, and then you can modify it when you create your income statement. So it, it creates automatically the uh, income statement, the balance sheet, cash flow, and you know, and then you can go from there. So nice addition. Uh, let's take a look at it in the system. Let's take a look at the system. So in the uh, finance tab right here, if we go into uh, account schedules. So these are the account schedules that are in the system. And as you can see that we have the M in front. What that means is that they have been automatically generated. So if I go into this one and it basically says here, this account schedule may be automatically updated by the system, so any changes could be lost. So do you want to make a copy? I'll just say no. And let's say if I go in here and I change something like here, uh, I'll just say test. And now I've changed my account schedules, uh, but it's one of the standard ones. Now if I go back and I go into um, finance uh, GL account categories, I can come in here and actually generate account schedules. That will actually create those M schedules. I'll just say yes. And I can say keep existing account schedules and create new ones now. Before it just used to update those M ones, which was really sort of annoying because you know, if you change them like I just did, that would just refresh and clean them out, etc. So I'll do that, keep the existing ones. And now if I go into my account schedules, I can see that we now have a copy. So we M balance one, cash flow statement one, income one, etc. So my original one that I changed um, is still there, still changed. So the test is here. So that's good. At least we're not knocking out um, the old ones.